Hello everyone and welcome to Closure. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this Grusha scarf from the game Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The tutorial for the Pokeball can be found on my channel. And without further ado, let's get started. For this project you will need white, blue and red yarn, a crochet hook, stitch markers, a darning needle and some scissors. For the yarn I have used Nako Sports Wool for the white and blue yarn and I cannot remember the brand I used for the red yarn. You'll need to use a bigger sized hook because we will work the waistcoat stitch for most of the scarf and that is a very tight stitch. I'll be using a 6mm hook. We will start with the ribbing at the bottom of the scarf. So first off, we will chain 8. Then in the third chain from the hook, we will make one half double crochet. We will continue to half double crochet until the end of the row. For the second row, we will chain one, turn, and make one half double crochet in the back loop for the next six stitches. For the third row, we will chain two, turn, and make one half double crochet in the back loop for the next six stitches. Usually chain two counts as a half double crochet, but in this project it will not. For the fourth row, we will chain one, turn, make six half double crochet in the back loops. For the fifth row, we will chain two, turn, and make six half double crochet in the back loops. We have been alternating the chain 1 and chain 2 at the beginning of the rows to create a sh uh, straight edge 
in one, on one side and a scalloped edge on the other. For the next rows, you will repeat rows 4 and 5, alternating between chaining 1 and or 2 at the beginning of the rows. You don't need to necessarily make 15 rows, but you need to have a number of rows that divides by 3. Now we will work on the straight edge, not the scalped one. For the first row, chain one and single crochet across. You need to have the same number of stitches as the number of rows that you made. Starting with the second row, we will begin making the waistcoat stitch. So we will chain one, turn and single crochet inside of the Vs.
At the end of the third row, don't finish the last single crochet. This is when we will change color to the blue yarn. And for the fourth row, you will change the color, chain one, turn, and here is where you need the number of the rows that you have made. Uh, you need to divide it by three because we will have two blue columns and one red column. Here we will have five single crochets for each column. So for the blue column you will make five single crochets inside the V's. Make sure to, s to crochet over the tails of the yarn so that you can secure them inside and also have them not show through. After the five blue stitches, chain color and make five red stitches inside the V's.
after the five red stitches, chain color back to blue and make five single crochets inside the V's with the blue yarn. For the fifth row, and for however long you wish your scarf to be, you will chain one, turn, and repeat row four.
after you have reached your desired length, we will start decreasing. In the first row of decreasing, you will chain 1, turn, skip the first stitch, and then make 4 more stitches inside the Vs. Change to the red yarn and make 5 single crochets inside the Vs. Change back to blue and make three single crochets inside the V's. And then single crochet two together inside the V's. For the next row of decreases, we will chain 1, turn, and skip the first stitch, then make 4 single crochets inside the Vs. Change to red and make three single crochets inside the Vs. Change back to blue and make three single crochets inside the Vs. And then single crochet two together. In the third row of decreases, we will chain one, turn, and skip the first stitch before making three single crochets in beads. Change to red and make three single crochets in Vs.
change back to blue and make two single crochets inside of these. then single crochet two together. For the last row of decreases, you will chain one turn and skip the first stitch before making two single crochets inside the leaves. Change to red and make three single crochets inside the fingers. Change back to blue and make one single crochet inside of it. Single crochet two together. Then chain one and cut off the other. All that's left to do is to attach the scarf to the ball, and this is your Krusha scarf. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.